Alexander Cobson to the British Humanist Association. Um, we made it clear to Archbishop Smith that our protests are directed uh, not specifically against the Roman Catholic Church nor against Catholics in this country, many of whom uh, Catholics in this country agree with the points we're making, but against the visit of the Pope as a head of state. And we made the arguments that we hold uh, very dear and we believe are true, um, that as a head of state he's responsible for the activities of the Vatican as a state and that those activities are so uh, violatory of human rights that they mean that he shouldn't be given the honour of a state visit to this country. We communicated to Archbishop Smith our request that the Pope open the Vatican sex abuse files and hand them to the relevant police forces worldwide. That's our number one request and the Archbishop said he would communicate our request to the Catholic Church and the Papal authorities. Um, the Pope's condemnation of child sex abuse will not be taken seriously until he opens the Vatican's sex abuse files and hands them to the relevant police forces worldwide. My name is Terry Sanderson. I'm the president of the National Secular Society. I gave the Archbishop a copy of the Human Rights Lawyers, Geoffrey Robertson's new book which will be published tomorrow and which gives irrefutable uh, proof that Cardin when he was Cardinal Ratzinger and as the Pope he was well aware of the scale of child abuse that was going on around the world and he did nothing about it. I begged the, the Archbishop to read this book because he didn't seem at all convinced that, uh, that the, the Pope was responsible for any of this. Um, and we also uh, challenged whether the Vatican or the Holy See is an authentic state and whether this should be a state visit. We don't believe it is and it shouldn't be. And that's why we are going to march to Downing Street on Saturday the 18th of September. There will be a large scale march from my far corner to Downing Street. It will be a peaceful, lawful march entirely facilitated with New Scotland Yard. Terry, will there be, or Peter, or any of you, will there be any attempt to arrest the Pope while he's here? We uh, have now discovered from Geoffrey Robertson's book, which has looked into it in great detail, that there is no real uh, prospect of a prosecution being made against the Pope, so we will not be making any arrest or attempt at any arrest. Uh, and I think that um, until the status of the Vatican is really sorted out, whether, whether it's a state or not, Pope is safe from any kind of uh, legal challenge to his uh, activities or non-activities uh, in relation uh, to child abuse. Under British law, Pope Benedict is recognised as a head of state and therefore has sovereign immunity against prosecution for criminal actions or collusion with criminal actions. Um, we do not believe that Pope Benedict is a legitimate head of state. Uh, heads of state are leaders of countries. The Vatican is not a country. The Vatican is not recognized as a country by the United Nations. It is a historical anomaly caused by the fact that the fascist leader Benito Mussolini in 1929 granted popes this privileged status. No other religious leader in the world has head of state uh, status. Do you want to have a The Archbishop seemed genuinely concerned by the issues we raised. Um, he did attempt to justify the Pope's actions and behaviour. Uh, we were not convinced, but we hope that he will go away from this meeting reassured that our protests will be peaceful and lawful and that we will continue to insist that the Vatican hand over its sex abuse files to the police. We made our request uh, to the Archbishop that he convey to the Catholic Bishops' Conference in this country and to the Papal authorities that the Pope as head of the state of the Vatican and the Holy See should open his archives, the archives they hold, to criminal authorities around the world. What we heard back is that that request will be relayed 
um, on our behalf to the appropriate authorities and we think that could be uh, a significant move and we hope that it will bear fruit. Why do you think it's significant? I mean it's not as if it hasn't been asked before. Well, um, we've never been told before uh, that, that, that someone would do it and we shall certainly be following it up. Could the Archbishop make any demands of you or requests? No, can, 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 I, can I add on that point? Um, in 2001, when he was Cardinal Ratzinger, the Pope wrote to every Catholic bishop in the world, ordering them to report all child sex abuse cases to him in Rome. So the Pope cannot claim that he was unaware of the abuse that was happening. He was informed, and all the evidence shows that he did nothing. That's why we are protesting the Pope. He did nothing when he had the evidence, and even today he is refusing to hand over his sex abuse files to the relevant police forces worldwide. Peter, the Vatican is recognised by nearly 200 countries, isn't it? And also our head of state is the supreme governor of a church, at least. Yeah, as I said. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The, the, that's true. Yes, Britain is a state in any, any recognised forum. The, the Vatican or the Holy See, uh, as Geoffrey Robertson illustrates in his book, is not an authentic state. It's been done by a, a system of smoke and mirrors that has been created a state. The Vatican has assumed from that all kinds of privileges for itself, and the world seems hypnotised and has gone along with it. But there is no way that the Vatican or the Holy See are authentic states in any recognised way. Um, it, it is not conducive to interfaith relations for the British government to give privileged head of state recognition to the leader of the Catholic Church while denying it to other faiths. In our view, no religious leader should have this privileged status but it's particularly offensive that the British government gives the Catholic Church this privileged recognition. Peter, you didn't answer that question. Are you going to try to <coughs> arrest the Pope? As I explained, the Pope has sovereign immunity from prosecution under British law. So is that a no? It wouldn't work. If, if, I, went, if I had the evidence that the Pope had colluded in the cover-up of child sex abuse and protected uh, sex abusing priests, I could go to a magistrate's court, as I did in the case of Henry Kissinger and Robert Mugabe, and apply for an arrest warrant. But the magistrate would turn around and say that, as a recognised head of state, the Pope has absolute immunity from prosecution. So that's a no? That's a no. <laughs> What's other Not for want of wishing or trying.